Hello everyone, today is July 11, 2024. Welcome back to my channel. Presently, I am on vacation for five days in Istanbul, Turkey. It's like a thousand degrees here. I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy from the heat. Anyhow, welcome back. I had to make this video because I've been getting these comments about protein from my last video and how dangerous it is. And I mean, the high protein diet. Do I have any comments on it? Do I have any proof? Ba, 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 ba. Does it hurt your kidneys? Okay, I'm going to blow your mind right now. Because my channel, I open your eyes to things that you're not told anywhere else. And what I'm about to share here, you never heard of. Guaranteed. This is what you do here. Longevity, aficionados. 0 0.8 grams of protein is the recommended daily intake from Institute of Medicine, which is now called the National Academy of Medicine. they the ones that created this recommended daily intake of 0 0.8 grams per kilo of body weight. But is this true? Is this what they recommended? This is what everybody's being told. Let me enlighten you. By the way, I'm going to put all this on the screen, and I'm going to put the links so you can review it yourself. I don't lie. I back everything up with what I say. What the NAM recommended is not 0 0.8 grams. They recommended that you should eat 10% to 35% of your macros from protein. In other words, if you eat a 2,000 calorie diet, you could eat as low as 50 grams of protein to as high as 175 grams of protein. And this study that I'm about to show you clearly says that protein is not just good for building muscle, it's good for cellular signaling and many other things, metabolic processes. And the only time that these processes are benefited is if you eat the upper range the National Academy of Medicine recommended 10 to 35% of your total calorie intake should be from protein, not 0 0.8 as everyone has been told for the last 20, 30, 40 years. This is why I laugh, okay? This is why I laugh. So a person that, that weighs 70 kilos, okay, and he eats the upper range of 35%, and this is what they recommend, by the way, you could eat up to 219 grams of protein daily. And it appears from the study that read it, it's advantageous, not deleterious to your health. Only if you have kidney disease, chronic, chronic kidney disease, then you have issues. I don't have chronic kidney disease. I have nothing wrong with me. And I'm going even higher. I'm going even higher than 35% because, let me repeat this too, because you're not being told this, there is no set upper limit for how much protein is healthy or not. There is no such thing. So I don't know where everybody's getting this information that 50% of my caloric intake of protein is dangerous. There is no set limit by the same institution that created the RDI for protein. There is no set up a limit. Do you people understand this? Or are you just making this up as you go along? Or are you just listening to certain scientists with certain agendas? I don't have no agenda. I am in perfect health, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in perfect health. I'm not a, I'm not a, a spring chicken. I'm 60 years old. Okay? I'm not old, but I'm not young. Somebody made a comment in one of my videos. I'm too young. I'm too young to talk about longevity. I'm too young. If I'm too young to talk about longevity, that means 95% of the longevity experts are younger than me. They need to shut their mouth. They can't talk about longevity either. You know who you are. You make no sense. I'm too young. You make no sense. Maybe maybe because you're confused because I'm in shape. You think I'm young. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm too young to talk about longevity. I mean, duh, this. anyway, forget that. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all the best. I just wanted to open up your eyes with the misinformation you've been given, okay? The recommended daily intake of protein by the institution of medicine 
or the National Academy of Medicine, which is called today, is not 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. It's actually over 3 grams, over 3 grams per kilogram of body weight. That's what I eat. That's what I eat. I didn't need them to tell me this. I didn't need them to tell me this. I went by how my body feels. How everything, I feel fantastic. I don't have any problem with my bones. I don't have any problem with my joints. I don't have any problem with my muscles. I don't have any metabolic issues. My sugar, my HbA1c, my CRP, you name it, everything is perfect. Okay? Especially my kidney biomarkers, they are all perfect. So all those concerns, wake up. Wake up. The evidence is on the screen. The evidence is in the description. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in a couple of days, and I will keep posting things that you never heard of. See you soon in my next video.